What's up everybody, it's Shuflaka back at again with another Madden 21 YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing our final team update. It is a somewhat of a theme team. We kind of went away from it this late in the year. It's not really a theme team anymore. But, as you guys know, we do have some of the best cards in the game. We did finish Rookie Premier. Our team, we'll just get right into it. But if you guys do not know, I do post a video every single day of the week. It's getting a little hard in July. Trust me, it's getting very hard in July to come up with ideas to post. But once we get into Madden 22, I think I'm going to be double uploading every day. So make sure to turn on those notices if you are new and subscribing. And also smash that like button. All the support, one like, can help me out so, so much. I appreciate you guys. Let's get right into the team. As you guys can see right here, we're only a 98 overall. I will explain why here in a second. But we are a 99 offense, 99 defense with a 90. Well, with I mean, I was about to say 98 overall again. But we do have a good amount of coins at 12 or well, 1.2 million. And then basically 200k training. But the training, I found a little bit of a coin method. I was thinking about making a video on it. But my friend showed me and I do not want to interfere or interfringe on that. You guys know how that it is. But moving into the lineup, you guys can see right here. Offense, our offense is our most prized possession. Offensive line, this is like the only position we don't have gold 99s right now. Well, in fullback, I guess you could say because we didn't power them up. But our offensive line is very, very solid. I think 97s is probably just as good as 99s. It really comes down to linemen just don't block in, regardless, or in general at all. Literally at all. I think everybody that's played Madden knows that. And yeah, I didn't really put too much of time or effort into them. This is a power pass right here, a 98 power pass. This is just a normal card, a normal card. This is another normal card, and this is a rookie premier card. Not much more into the offensive line right there at all. But we are rocking a couple abilities on them. We got an identifier on our right guard. And we also got edge protector on both of our tackles. It seems like edge protector does not work. I really want to take it off and see how if it works or not. Because right now, it does not seem like it works at all for me. So moving on over to our skill positions. It's really, you guys can see right here. I do top 10s and all that. And I know which cards are pretty much the best, right? But not all of my skill positions are the best. It's so late in the year, I like to have a lot of fun in the game. So trying out new cards is what I've been doing. And this is the team that I kind of felt like it plays the best for me. I do play next gen if you guys do not know that. I do have Calvin Johnson, but in my in next gen, your tight end doesn't really get tired. So Lorenzo O'Neal never touches the field at tight end when I'm running my bunch. So Calvin Johnson being there is perfect and literally never comes off the field ever. So I'll take that any single day. But that's the one card I don't really test around in. I think tight end's one of the weakest positions in the game, and I think everybody could agree with that. There's really it's really Calvin Johnson, then there's a, a big cliff, and then there's Robert Woods, Kittle, and then but they're like they're not fun to use, if that makes sense. None of those cards are really fun to use. But moving on over to wide receiver, this is where I test out the most cards at. You guys can see a lot of these cards are from gameplays as well. You guys know I did a Tyrone Calico gameplay on the channel. We also did an Odell gameplay on the channel. Both of them had over 300 yards in one game in both those gameplays. So I felt like I had to keep him. Calico is our bigger guy in the lineup now. I love him. He's very fun. He's a different card as well. You're not seeing him every game like you do see Randy Moss and Calvin. Kind of boring playing with the same cards everyone's using. That's just how I feel about playing the game. I know not everybody is that way, but that's how I am in particular. But you guys can see right here, CD Lamb is our slot. We do got Slotomatic on him. He's our only golden ticket. And this was actually given away to me, so that's why he's still on the team. But I still do like him a lot. I think he is still one of the best cards of the game. And it's not one you see all the time as well. That's why I like to add him. But our final wide receiver is my favorite one by far, Odell. After the catch is by far the best wide It feels like by far the best wide receiver in the game. He breaks tackles. His spin move and his juke move feel like amazingly smooth. He gets all the good after the catch. I know he gets jukebox and spin cycle for cheap as well, I think. I don't know if it's for cheap, but I know he gets them. And his, like, his animations are amazing. I know a lot of people have been using him. He's fun. He's a cool name. And he's actually a very, very good card as well. But moving over to fullback, we already, it's, nobody cares about what fullback I'm running. I've actually was about to get Heath Miller. A lot of people are saying the Heath Miller tight end card is actually a 99 here, and he's actually very good. So that's a card I think I am going to be changing over to once actually this video ends. So Heath Miller is probably going to be my fullback. I got to find out if he's a gold 99 or not, because I do want to upgrade to a gold 99 there. But our running backs are our two favorite possessions on our team of offense. If, if you guys did not catch the video yesterday, we did pull Barry Sanders and did a gameplay with him on the channel, and it was a fire, fire gameplay. Super fun, super fun card to have. Most expensive card in the game right now, I believe. Obviously, there's like the Jalen Ramsey and stuff, but those fluctuate in prices. He's the most like consistent expensive card in the game right now. 
and that's how I've been making my coins as well. I've been doing the UL rerolls. That's how that's how I've been doing them easily to make Barry Sanders profit. But Alvin Kamara, you guys know. Let me let me switch over to the big screen right now. You guys know this is my favorite player by far in the league. I mean, it's not even close. He's my like it's really not even close. He's my favorite player by far. He he's gonna be on the team no matter what the whole year. I love him on my team. He's been on my team since his card came out, his 95. He's been on my team when he was 800K. Bought him for 800K, his 95. This card, I bought him when he was around 600K as well, his 98. Then I ended up selling him, getting his power pass. And now, yeah, he's on the team no matter what. He's always going to be our receiving back. Barry Sanders is our running back. So it works out perfectly. And we do have, part, in my opinion, the best quarterback in the game. I know a lot of people are switching back over to RD3. But I do like Rodgers the most for my team finish off the offense i'm going to show you which abilities i am rocking at the end of the year like i said this is next gen i don't really think you guys should copy these on current gen at all but i am running inside dead eye hero master gunslinger the necessities everybody runs that you could add escape artist but i think five ap is plenty fine for me but right now i am rocking a bunch of abilities like i said i just did a game plan on him this is not what i normally would run i probably will switch back over to this mid in uh a mid out elite and deep in elite over here for odell but i was rocking these three abilities right here on barry sanders for the gameplay but i do run slot automatic all the time very good ability two ap on golden tickets is amazing we also got mid out elite and deep out elite on my tight end works perfectly on calvin he's a glitch and i showed you guys already my offensive line abilities edge threat or edge protectors on both my tackles and identifier ended off we are running balanced o as well i think this late in the year when everybody gets their deeps their uh throw power everything balanced o is by far the best it gives like plus one to almost everything you guys can see right here look how much stuff it gives two plus two and a couple of stats so it's a very very good ability and you guys can see right here for later in the video, you guys can see we're using lockdown as well on defense. And we do have 36 out of 40 Browns. I am a Browns fan, but not many Browns actually play on my team besides like Odell and Kevin Zeitler on offense at least. Moving over to the defense. This is another weird one for me. I do run a lot of weird stuff on defense. I've been testing out a lot of stuff. But as you guys can see right here, our corners are by far our best position. I love Mike Evans on next gen. I think he's a top five corner on next gen, but on, on current, I'd say he's top seven. But you guys can see, I probably have the top two top three corners as well. I think most people would put Jalen Ramsey at one. I particularly think Jalen Ramsey is the best in the game. And I got Rod Woodson, which I think is number two or three with Charles Woodson as well. I could always get Charles Woodson here, but I have a lot of fun with Mike Evans. Just a super fun card to have on defense. But moving over to the D-line, we do have Montez Sweat, Christian Barmore from the rookie premiere. It's really a position that, you know, I just throw out there. And he's actually a pretty good card as well. I do like him a lot. I did not fully get my Leroy Glover up. He's a 99. I probably should get him a gold 99. It's not the biggest deal for me because he doesn't play. It's probably honestly better than Christian Barmore, but he gets abilities for a lot more expensive, so I don't know if it's worth it. But Miles Garrett as well, another guy on the Browns team team. He actually does play for me. I'll show you guys the specialist here in a second for defense as well. But we got Carl Banks in a Browns team team as well, getting 99 speed. So that's another big benefit right there. 99 speed, Carl Banks, DK Metcalf as well. Ricky Jackson, I actually went back from Clowney and all of them. Ricky Jackson seems like he's the best pass. For like, I don't know what it is with the card. He's just broken. He is literally just broken for me. That is all. We got Sam Mills doesn't play. Micah Parsons does not touch the field at all. Deion Jones in 335 wide, he does play end for me. And he's actually very good. He's a very fast card. He's a card that was another, another one given to me by one of my Twitch mods. I've been blessed a lot over on Twitch. I appreciate everybody if you guys are watching this. But moving over to free safety as well. I think he is one of the best free safeties in the game. Very underrated card. You don't see anybody using him. Except for, like, I don't know. A lot of people are using Grant Delpin and Sean Taylor. But look, just look at this card. 99 everything. He's solid height as well. six foot one, And he's just, he's just very good out there. I don't know. I love him. I love him. But, yeah, that's really our defense. Like I said, we are running lockdown still, too. I probably could get... But, uh, get better backups and stuff, but I never really noticed that stuff on next gen at all. Over to specialists to show you guys what we are running over here. Sub linebackers are Isaiah Simmons. Yeah, well, I forgot to mention we do have him as well. 99 Isaiah Simmons and 99 Carl Banks. Our rushing ends are Ricky Jackson and Montez Sweat. I love Montez Sweat at D tackle or end. He's playing end for me a little bit. I might probably upgrade here soon and get another right i mean outside linebacker to get here and then move him to d tackle but we are rocking christian barmore and miles garrett here as well they're both very very good for me don't really i mean miles garrett's good in the run i know christian barmore's a really weird card he's like i don't know how to explain it. he feels like he's like a 
He looks really skinny out there like a defensive end playing D tackle. So I do love him out there. Our slot quarterback is Rod Woodson. And if you guys want to see, we Barry Sanders isn't usually our third down running back. But like I said, I was doing that gameplay yesterday. Let me put Kamara back in there. This is our specialist right here on our team. To end it off, I'm going to show you guys which abilities we were rocking as well. You guys could see 4 AP on Edge Shred Elite. It's not the best. Inside stuff is a must. Another Edge Shred Elite. It seems like to be very, very good on next gen. So right there is already 10 AP. Another 3 AP on Pick Artist and on my way. That's on my user. I love it on him. Plays very, very good. And then also Deflator on Carl Banks. I don't th I don't recommend what I run. I just works best for me and Big Nickel. And it seems to work very good for me. I think a lot of my defense depends on sacks. If I can get them in bad position, seems like I do win a lot of the games. But yeah, this is the team right here. Moving over to special teams as well to end it. This is why we don't have a 98 overall team. I have not punted the ball in like three three months, it feels like. Maybe once in three months off of like three sacks in one possession on like some fluke mad and stuff. But yeah, we have Janikowski. Our kick return or punt return on next gen, you, you can't return. So I just fair catch anything basically so yeah we have janikowski's the only one that really matters right here now you guys saw my squad a lot of people always ask me what what's on my team what abilities all of that there it is all right there for everyone to see chems everything where everybody is all of it right there literally in the video so if you guys have any questions Make sure to let me know in the comments. And also, let me know which players should I be adding. I might do some team builders as well. Looking at a full Ultimate Legend team here soon. Going to be very expensive to switch on over, but it's the end of the year. Might as well have some fun and get some videos out. But I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Make sure to smash that like button, turn those noties on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.